Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today we are going to show you a live guidance how to make your own 10 watt endurance laser. So what is in, in the kit? In the kit we are going to send you uh, this 3D printed uh, shape, this 3D printed box. Uh, we send components MO1 and the fan that you need to install on top and a jack that goes inside the box. Also we send you a few wires so that you are able to connect your fan, your endurance MO board and uh, also uh, be able to connect DC-DC converter. Also we send you this switch with three positions. First position is full power, second position is TTL option and zero position means that the laser is off. Okay, here we insert this button into our 3D printed box. Boris is going to install it. Uh, don't forget to uh, make two wires so it's ground and we have plus. So we insert it inside the box. It's quite easy. Okay. This is a DC-DC converter that is in our kit. There are some different variations of these DC-DC converters. Some of them are green, some of them are blue, some of them are red. So this one is green and they can um, be regulated for different voltage. Okay, now we're going to show you an assembling process. Boris, let's start! Okay, the first pin is uh, plus, then it is a minus in, and a uh, third pin is laser ground, and the fourth pin is laser power. Now we're going to set up proper voltage. Okay, we connect 12 volts from our ACDC adapter and the fan should start working as soon as we press the button on. Okay, so we have 9 volts on output pen. We need to decrease it to 5 volts. Okay, first this one is a voltage regulator and this is our current regulator. So, we set up proper voltage. 
so we already did settings and now we're going to add Zena diode with 5.1 volt um, so we can control the voltage and it will not burn our laser diode so keep in mind that Zena diode is inserted in parallel okay everything is ready now we are going to assemble our laser control box now we are going to show you how to assemble laser model itself here what actually you get you get four fans three on right left uh, one on top you have a mini jack that goes inside you have the laser heatsink uh, with a pre-installed laser sometimes we pre-install it because it takes some time to install inside a heatsink sometimes we send it separately so the installation process of a heatsink into aluminum cowling housing is quite easy okay now we install the laser heatsink into aluminum housing it is very easy all set we send you bolts and screws M3 16 millimeters we need to fasten so that how 10 watt laser model looks like when you added a heat sink to it. You screw two screws here and two down here. Okay, now we need to sort out what we do with our wires and then we are going to add final fan. Okay, now all fans are connected and we may do final fastening and final installation process. So this is jack, our big jack connector and we are going to put it outside, you can see. Let's check how our fans are working. We insert uh, power and you see that they are all working properly. So they will cool our heatsink and our laser diode. Now we are going to do the final test of our assembled unit. First of all we need to plug the fans, so you may keep them working all the time. Now connect power to our laser control board, you see the fan is working. And now we can control that the laser full power is on, as you can see off it doesn't work. Without TTL it doesn't work, full power is working. Okay, we need to test our TTL signal now. We have a battery, small battery. Uh, now we are going to connect and see if the signal uh, that goes from a battery will work. So we have a ground here, we'll take the ground here and a plus over here. So it means that the RISA signal, permanent signal, constant signal, a constant power uh, on our uh, 
laser control board on our actually endurance ML board. So this is uh, just this is for a test. Yeah, we we'll take another battery. That one didn't work. Okay, okay, and now you see, right? So you have the laser that is working because we add different detail signals. So we give power, it's working. We unplug, it does not. So very simple. So the so the laser is working. We showed you entire assembled process, the settings, parameters. So hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends and place orders and try endurance laser kits. Have a wonderful engraving. Bye bye.